Hey everybody, it's Ron Grant, and you're watching Just For The Record. Stay tuned, you're watching 284 Media. Hello? Wait, you're not I again? You say you are sick? What happened to all wedding rehearsal? Um, no, no, babe. I'm actually watching the news right now. Take, take, take a listen. Topping our newscast today, UFOs seen around Tortola Pier Park. And District 3 residents outraged over no water supply. They simply cannot bathe. These and more stories when 284 News returns. All right, babe, just get some rest, take two Advil, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, honey, I see you later. I love you. It's clear to see that Coconut Lounge is a place to be, the coolest cocktail lounge in the British Virgin Islands. A lounge like no other, with welcoming, professional service, and a breathtaking ambiance. Not forgetting a diverse selection of wines, beers, and signature cocktails. Cozy, comfortable, contemporary. Coconut Lounge at Tortola Pier Park. Visit us today. John Samuel, welcome to Just For The Record. Thank you very much, and I'm grateful to be here. Absolutely, thank you. I had the honor of having a conversation, but just so you know, before I sit down with any candidate, I, I tend to pass through the district and make calls to do my homework to make sure I'm as well researched as possible. Okay. And people have a lot to say. Yes. Okay. And just for the record, these are not my words. These yes. are some of the words of members of the electorate and people from the district. Yes. Quiet, former permanent secretary, harbor pilot, and a marine, marine professional. Someone said he seems very versatile. One gentleman said, John is a cool guy. In hindsight, as we are human and we can't please people, there's always someone who will find something that's for not to their liking. Yes. All right? Yes. And there are those who feel as though they don't really know you. A young woman from the district said, he doesn't talk to anyone. He seems stuck up. Yes. A young man said, I see him around, but I don't know anything about him. Just for the record, what say you to the person's who feel as though your personality is not one for political office? I would, my response would be that um, my personality is, I think, ideal for political office because when I meet people and I engage with them, uh, with a shake hand, a smile, a hug, I do hug a lot of, a lot of females because I think it's, it's, it's a warm and greeting and it boosts their day. Um, it's genuine. Um, I'm not a person that my disposition is not one of smiling a lot. And I, I know I've been told in my, in my life that I'm too serious sometimes. But I take life seriously. I take any challenge that I take on seriously. I take responsibility seriously. And a lot of times when you see me, sometimes I might seem distracted because a lot of times I'm thinking about things. There's, you know, a my, the yeah, there's a lot going on in my mind. I'm always processing things. Sometimes people complain that I don't see them or I didn't, I didn't wave. And, and sometimes genuinely I didn't really notice them because there's so much thinking in my mind. I'm processing, I'm thinking. And I believe that that's what we need in the leadership of our country. We need people who are visionary. We need thinkers. We need um, creative minds for solutions. Um, but that, that is not reflective of my personality. And I think that people who know me, genuinely know me, would tell you that, you know, I'm, I'm probably the life of the party sometimes. And I'm, I'm, I'm quite a warm person. So who is John Samuel? Uh, John Samuel is someone who was born to a teacher in, in Bellevue. Um, I spent all my school years in, in BVA public schools, Bellevue School, which is now Joy Samuel Primary School, named after my mom. And uh, I went to BVA High School. I was in a BVA High School band. Um, yes, I was in House One in BVA High School. I was an athlete. Um, the, the sprints, 100, 200, and long jump were my, my, uh, my, my sports. I played basketball quite a bit in the BVA in the the league that we have that we had um the league was much um much stronger then um i played with bellevue teams um and and in practicing we would go around to villages to play so i we used to play in carrot bay western king Garden bay so you could so, see a sports you were or still are a sports fanatic i i am mm -hmm. I, I am and um 
Um, when they, they, they say in the league when you can no longer play your referee, and I, I got to the stage where I, I, was, a ba <laughs> I was a basketball referee uh, in the BVI as well. Um, and, I, and I love sports, and, and I think sports has a genuine place in, in grooming young people as they grow in terms of discipline, um, working as a team, um, you know, and uh, facing, facing and dealing with challenges. So. Now, you have quite a plan for the 6th District. Tell me about some of the plans that you plan to implement, if you'd like to. Um, my overall vision for the BVA surrounds its people. And I believe in investing in the people, um, growing the people alongside the country. So everything that I have and everything that I think, I, I think of how we can get the people to grow alongside the country, to be part of the BVI product, uh, to be invested in the country. Um, because you, you cannot, I don't think you can have a successful country without, without bringing its, its people along. Uh, so growth and development has um much more to do with the growth and development of the people than just the, the infrastructure in any country um my my district the sixth district which is my home i've i've seen the sixth district grow tremendously uh when i was younger when i was young uh, most of the roads weren't paved i've seen that the roads were dirt roads i've seen them paved over the years I've seen growth, I've seen expansion of the roads. Uh, I've seen places where I just took my sheep in the morning and now develop with houses. So there has been a lot of growth. There has been a lot of people that have migrated into the sixth district. It's a busy district. And the, the district is now a much busier district. It's a big district. There the, the, are approximately 1,600 voters in the sixth district. The sixth district has, in my view, the 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 key economic engines in the country, all the, most of the big hardware stores are in the 6th district. The port is in the 6th district. Um, there's a lot of commerce in the 6th district. So I think that the, the district needs to be respected more as, as, as um, one of the, the elements of the BVI economy and the BVI structure. And um, I'm not convinced that 6th district residents um, have had their fair share of whatever the BVA has had to offer and over under, the years. And under your leadership, what would the 6th District look like? Under my, my leadership, the 6th District would look like a residential area in areas that, that are primarily residential, um, where people are comfortable in their homes, um, that is properly kept, um, enough access, and egress into the areas, uh, maintain, maintenance of, of security, maintains, maintenance of standards, um, sufficient social programs for young, the youth, and the elderly. Um, and in the economic areas, additional growth, more structure. We need some zoning because we have some mixing of, of industry and residential that's that, that, that challenges compatibility. Um, and we need to plan our way forward, plan our growth. We have some areas that can still be developed and to plan how we, as the residents of the 6th District, will partake in, in, in the future of the district. We'll be right back with Mr. John Samuel. You're watching Just For The Record. Is business slow? Cash flow down? Hosting an upcoming event? We can help. Advertise with 284 Media and take your business or event to the next level by enhancing your present marketing and messaging strategies. Allow our team of experts to create a personalized ad that sets your business apart from all the rest. This could be your business or event. So, what are you waiting for? Contact our marketing team at 284media at cctbvi.com. Advertising with us works. Now you've come under fire for a recent, I would say it was a couple months ago, a Facebook post that you made in reference to the flooding in the 6th District. And a lot of residents or supporters of the present representative were somewhat abrasive in responses. Tell me exactly what was your aim or purpose in, in highlighting those issues? Well, I will tell you first that 
I don't mind coming on the fire, mm -hmm. you know, especially when I know that um, the cause is, is justified and, and I expect going forward in a leadership role to come on the fire and to be able to defend my, my actions. Um, that post at that time related to the flooding again in the postal area. And I know that many businesses, uh, many persons are victims of the, the flooding. And I, I'm just challenged to accept that you can have an issue in an area, an issue of that significance, and that it seems to be accepted as if um, it's, okay. It, it's okay without, in my view, there should be continuous effort to rectify the problem. We, we may not get it in one solution or two solutions, but we have to, as long as people are being negative, negatively impacted, we have to continuously attempt to get the, the, the issue resolved. Now, the present representative has come under fire herself for supporting what I would call the branding of the 6th District as Zone 6. Right. Even the police commissioner once said that it's a labeling or it gives the premise that you're labeling it as a gang. Right. Okay. Now, I have my thoughts. Others might have their thoughts. What, are you, what is your stance on that level of support for branding? I believe personal branding is everything. Right. Right? It's something I consider and take into consideration every day I get up. What do you think about the branding of your district, District 6, right. as Zone 6? You would, I, I think you would note that in, in, on my website, yes. in all my posts, I, I refer to it as District 6 and not Zone 6. I think there is a negative connotation to Zone 6, and um, that seems to be supported by the type of activity that we have been subjected to in in zone in, in district six um we've had there's there are a lot of um burglaries some that are not even reported i've has had citizens that have indicated to me that it's no point in even reporting it anymore yes um there's a lot of loitering in certain areas uh there, there's illicit activity and and that along with the labeling, creates a very negative image for the district. Um, I believe that as a leader, you have to work to change, not just the, the image, but the underlying activity that seems to support, support that, that sort of branding. And we can perhaps get to a, a place six years from now where we can say zone six and, and because there are different type of activities and there's a different image and it's a more positive place yeah. and the youths are engaged. It's, yeah. it's a totally yeah. different thing. It, it might be okay, you know? Um, so although the, the, the name in itself brings that negative um, image, I think that the, the, there are other things that support the negative image, right. things that we have to work on um, as leaders in the country to try and change the dynamics in the district so that it's a positive place. It's a positive place for the residents. It's a positive place for business persons. And, um, and then at the end of the day, we can, we can label it, we can name it however we feel, you know, because it, it, it will defend itself based on, on, on the, the reputation and the activity that's there. No, I am a proud registered voter of the 6th district. Okay. I always like to say uh, to my friends, Bob has been raised in Caribbean, who I reside now with my wife, made me a man. Okay. Why should I vote for you? Um, I will bring representation. I will bring um, a fresh view, a breath of fresh air to the 6th District. I will bring, um, I believe, um, a government and a placement in a government that will change the dynamics of the British Virgin Islands um, in a good way, in a significant way. And uh, I believe that four years from now, you would see the difference that I and my government would have made in your life. You wouldn't have to ask, well, you know, what has John Samuel done for the sixth? 
it would be it would be obvious. You're confident that it would be visible. It will be visible. It would not only be visible, you would feel it. You would see it. Um, it would be a part of, of your life going forward. Okay. Let's play a little game. Sure. My friend. Uh, this is what I like to call, this segment is what I like to call, I bet they didn't know. I'm going to ask you some questions and you're going to give me the first answer that comes to your mind. Okay? Uh, really quick, short, precise answers. First one. Childhood celebrity crush. Wow. <laughs> um... Oh, even Daisy Duke, how about that? Hmm. Interesting answer. Any secret talents? I am very skilled at, at many things. Okay. Um, kind of like a fixer up kind of guy. I, I, I can, I can, I, I'm very good even at, uh, I spend a lot of time in vehicles and, and what we call mechanics or automotive okay. repair was one of my big hobbies, you know, so I'm, I'm very versed in in, in cars. Guilty pleasure. Chocolate cake. Mm. A luxury you cannot live without. Ooh. A cold bear. How about that? <laughs> That's, a That's a really good one. Uh, someone from yesteryear, Virgin Islands history, that you would like to take to lunch. If you had the opportunity, you would take to lunch. My mom. Okay. Okay. Um... Who or what never fails to make you laugh? My second daughter. Okay. Yes. She amuses you. Journeys, yes. She, right. She's... Okay. Best compliment you ever got? I'm handsome. Okay. Well, never fails to me. <laughs> you asked for off the top of my head, you know, so... Describe yourself in a few words. I'm committed, uh, dedicated. And, and serious about any task that I set my hand to. Wonderful. Mr. John Samuel, just for the record, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. The other provider promises a lot. I heard them say they are fast, but are they really? How long I got away to get connected? I tried them already, and they let me down. All these ads about networks have me confused. Who can I really trust? I use a lot of data. Who can I depend on? I'm scared to switch. What if something goes wrong? Who can I really trust? I'm scared to switch.